Welcome back everyone. This is our looking at the charts report. My name is Angelo Zitis and for this report we'll be looking at four instruments. First is EURUSD, second is GBPUSD, third is silver and fourth is the S&P 500. EURUSD four hour chart. In the latest four hour sessions the currency pair has tested our R1 117.60 resistance level but was unable to clearly breach it thus correcting lower. Yet in case a bullish appetite comes into play, a move above the R1 could send the currency pair to the R2 118 level. Even higher than that, we could mention the R3 118.65 line as a possible target if a continuous upward trend is performed. In the opposite direction, our first support level is set at the S1 116.95 line. Other levels we have noted even lower are the S2 116.60 line and the S3 116.20 hurdle. We must note that with the latest strengthening of the USD in the last weeks of September, EURUSD was forced lower, breaking out of the sideways motion it had moved in since late July. This could be considered a bearish sign in our view. Traders following the currency pair should be aware that the pricing activity could be determined by the USD, and especially on Friday with the US employment report to be released in the US session. This is regarding the short term. Moving now to cable for our chart. Technically, even though GBPUSD moved higher to test our R1 129.50 resistance level during Thursday's Asian session, the pair corrected lower in the next four hours and gave back most of the ground made. In case of a substantial rise above the R1, the R2 130.20 resistance level and the R3 130.105 hurdle could come into play. In the opposite direction, our levels noted are the S1 128.15, the S2 127.65 and the S3 126.85 support levels. We would give special emphasis on the S2 127.65 and the S3 126.85 lines as the pricing activity from the 22nd to the 28th of September was between them. Thus traders have taken notice of this range. GBPUSD is a very interesting currency pair currently as its direction could be depending on the Brexit negotiations and especially during Friday where any progress or announcement on the matter could be made. Cable traders will be focused mostly on the Brexit matter in our opinion, so caution is advised as any headlines could prove critical for the pair's further direction. Moving now to silver for our chart. During today's European morning session, silver attempted to test the R1 2385 resistance level but was unable to breach it. Above the R1, we have noted the R2 2430 line last seen on the 30th of September, while even higher we have also set the R3 2475 as a top target. In our view, a breach above the R3 could signal a strong bullish momentum. In a selling scenario, we have noted the S1 2320 as the initial possible stop point. If the downward trend continues, then we may come across the S2 22.6 line or even the S3 21.85 support level. We would place extra emphasis on the R2 as it was tested but not clearly breached in the last part of September. Before that, the R2 had been crossed back in July. Thus, we would consider it an important level to determine the general sentiment of the precious metal. Silver may come under strong volatility during tomorrow's US employment report release, while some volatility was also observed during the first Trump-Biden debate. We would expect precious metals in general to continue to react to the US election uncertainty, so caution is advised. Moving to our final chart, this is the S&P 500. Now the index moved higher and tested our R1 3390 resistance level but was unable to breach it. If the upward trend is to continue then the index could rise above the R1 with traders possibly setting their targets at the R2 3450 and the R3 3500 lines. In our view, a clear breach above the R1 3390 level would be evidence of a strong bullish momentum. In the opposite scenario, a fall below the S1 3325 support level could force traders to focus even lower to the S2 3275 hurdle and even lower to the S3 
3,215 hurdle. In our opinion, a fall below the S3 could signal a bearish sentiment has overtaken the index. The RSI indicator currently reflects a buying momentum could be in place as the reading is nearby and just below the 70 level. Now, some analysts have the opinion that the major US index's latest surge could be an emotional reaction to the disappointing first US presidential debate. Traditionally, October has been considered a very difficult month for the markets. All-time noticeable sell-offs were performed during the Great Depression in 1929 and the 1987 crash. However, due to the fact that we are heading towards the US elections and uncertainty is expected to rise in the next weeks, we could say that the market could provide more volatility in October compared to September. Now, that's the end of this report. We hope you enjoyed it as well as found it useful. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy solid trading.